Welcome to 7.5's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students learned how to use the coordinate plane in quadrant one. They also learned how to graph ordered pairs. So a few things when we're looking at our coordinate plane in quadrant one, some things to note. We've got our x and our y. Notice that our x is going horizontal and our y is vertical. This is going to be really important for students to remember as they work to solve these problems. So one thing I always tell students is to remember that you need to run before you can jump, so you can go over and then up. Students have also told me lots of different ways to remember this. I've also heard students say you're going to walk over to a friend's house and you're going to go up to play in their room. Whatever helps your student remember that is going to be really important to make sure they have those ordered pairs in the correct spots. Let's go ahead and look at point E. Point E, if we go over, is at 4 and then we go up 2. So point E is at 4, 2. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 4, 2 with a comma. Now a really common mistake for fifth graders is to say this is at 2, 4. Notice there is nothing there. It's really important to always go over and then up when you're working with ordered pairs. Let's go ahead and try another one with point C. I'm going to go over 9. I'm going to go ahead and write down 9. And then I'm going to go up to 3. Again, notice with my ordered pairs, I put a comma in between to signal that this is a division between the x and the y. I also have parentheses to show that it is an ordered pair. Now, this last step is to plot something on the, on the coordinate plane. I'm going to plot j at 7, 6. So again, I'm going to go over 7, and I need to go up 6. I'm going to put a dot there and write J. Really remembering with ordered pairs, it's important to go x and then y or over then up to have your coordinate uh, to graph things appropriately on a coordinate plane. If you have any questions about today's math lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.